This is the Yakistan I'm talking about. <laughs> My name is 2nd Lieutenant Lloyd with the 15th Field Artillery Regiment. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes. I'm currently at the Yakima Training Center in Washington. My regiment is out here for the weekend firing their guns. I've been in the artillery for seven years. I started off as a gunner on the front line and worked my way up. I've seen every part of the artillery. I want to show you how it all comes together. First we need to look at how the guns are sighted. These are artillery reconnaissance technicians. They're the first ones on the ground. They're the ones that actually figure out where the guns are going to be placed. This is done by using sophisticated military survey equipment. When the guns arrive, the recce technicians will work with each individual gun to figure out exactly where each artillery piece is laying. Why are we three mils off? Once the guns are ready, it's up to the observation post to call in the targets. So right now we're on our way to the observation post. If you didn't know, most of the time soldiers actually shooting the artillery can't actually see where the rounds are landing. These forward observers, they're the ones that actually see the rounds land. They're the ones that actually guide the rounds onto the target. You're in the way. Right now, we're several kilometers away from the gun line on an isolated hilltop. We're much further to the front, and you can see out the area that they're calling in rounds. Just ahead, you'll see the bomb is blowing up. From here, we can see the enemy and identify where the target actually is. After the guns fire, the forward observers will literally see the shots land. data here is sent back to the command post with the radio. The command post is literally the brain of the operation. The command post will give out orders for ammunition, amount of shells, and direction. After that, it's up to each gun crew to do the shooting. All right, we got to make up for lost time. Woo, let's get to the gun line. Am I right, Saeed? <laughs> He's dying back. I, I can just cross this a little bit. Uh, I hope I took the right road there. <laughs> Woo -hoo! This is the gun line. This is where it all happens. Get that the final part here. where they pull the lanyard. I'm a commander. Getting those rounds on the target as fast as you can and getting out is the best way to stay safe when you have any artillery shooting back. Every member of the gun crew needs to be an absolute safe. Fire for effect. When the guns are all accurate on the target, and it's time for them to unleash the rest of the rounds they have dedicated to that spot. I love the sound of artillery. Love that sound. And the smell that comes up afterwards. The smell of that cordite. So it's day two. Today's going to be a little bit different. We did a lot of indirect firing yesterday, but now pretty soon the guns are going to start moving, going to start packing up, and we're going to head over to start doing some direct action shooting, a bit more intense. We're just taking down the gun position now before we move to the next one. Each gun crew will need to pack away stores and equipment, still being ready to fire until the very last moment. She's firing. When she's firing is given, that's when all the guns start packing up. The race begins to see which gun position can get out of the gun area fast enough so that they can be the first ones onto the next platform. Good job. Bang on. So this is what direct action is like. When the guns are lined up, their barrels are pretty much level to the ground, 
and they're trying to shoot to hit targets just right over there. That was an enemy charging over the hill, getting the barrels level and firing them accurately is the best way for the artillerymen to stay safe. Maybe you can see the smoke in the background from where they're shooting. This competition is putting them up shooting rounds really fast, competing against each other for who can hit that target first. So that's the sound of them pulling the lanyard, firing the round off. Does that mean they're the ones that pulled the trigger? Or is the one who pulled the trigger the forward observer, calling it in over the radio? Or is it the command post, sending the orders out to the guns to fire? I'm not too sure. Maybe that's too philosophical. There's so many different parts in this process of the artillery. Everyone has their part. Everyone's involved in some way. Get ready. Woo! Oh, man, this thing looks cool. Oh my god, why did I do that? That was so dumb. The worst instinct ever. Important as well food, water. That's when you get this kind of bass here. Really? You're ruining this shot. That was serious. I want to be in all the propaganda of 39 Brigade. Keep cover for everything. 